All right, Corey, we just finished, what, our third soccer match? We're up two to one. Give us some soccer tips, buddy. Um, one thing to do is play really close defense on people. Uh-huh. And don't, like, back too much away from them. And the second thing is, if you see them kick the ball toward the goal, don't stop because you think they're not going to kick it hard enough. Just keep on running after it, just in case they do kick it harder. And third, um... Never stop paying attention on the person who you're guarding. Those are some great tips. Thank you. Like also like pay attention more. to the person who you're guarding, but also like kind of watch the person who has the ball out the corner of your eye, even if it's not your, the person you're guarding, to make sure if they're trying to kick it to the other person. Good tips, man. Appreciate that. I think you're going to make a whole lot of people with some better soccer players. Uh, thank you. All right. Peace. <laughs>
And then last but not least, add a little bit of um, granola to the top. And 95% of the time, that's what I'm having for breakfast. Uh, this week, the founding partners of the race uh, got together for another uh, virtual meeting via Zoom. Uh, again, just to keep going through the steps of uh, planning uh, for the race coming this November, uh, working around the current COVID crisis, trying to figure out what adjustments we need to make um, and how we can execute an amazing race, um, prayerfully thinking that uh, we'll be through this, this current situation by the time November comes and the race can serve as a celebration, perhaps being uh, one of the earliest races for uh, to give everyone a chance to come back together and embrace the sport of uh, running and just being able to be active and congregate outdoors once again. All right, everybody, it's Monday, uh, Patriots Day in Boston. Uh, if it wasn't for the COVID-19 crisis today, I would be at the Boston Marathon. Uh, but instead, I am at home quarantining, uh, following social distancing guidelines. I'm still going to get my run in. I'll be on the treadmill um, at least twice today. See, I have on my Boston Marathon hoodie, and all day on TV today, they're showing coverage on the U.S. Olympic Channel uh, from the beginning of the day to the end, replaying basically all of the old Boston marathons. Um, so for those that are watching this that were going to Boston, um, hopefully things will still go forward in September. I got an email this morning with like a little one minute video clip. I'll show that here um, right after this. And it basically is just like a memorial to like what could have been and like highlights. It showed like uh, Des Linden when she won, uh, Meb when he won the year after the Boston uh, Marathon bombings. So pretty cool video, it's a minute long and I'll show that to you here. 